There are 1509 international airports in the world and if you were to travel to every single one of them it would take you exactly Let's rewind a bit To figure out how long that would actually take we first need to find the route that covers the shortest total distance and if I actually knew how to calculate it I would be claiming a 1 million dollar prize because this is a version of one of the 7 millennium prize problems the famous P versus NP some problems are easy to verify if someone gives you a valid route you can quickly check that it visits all airports but figuring out whether it's as short as possible route this is a tricky part we don't know if it's even possible to solve problems like this quickly and if it is we have no idea how to do it despite all of this I still wanted to find the shortest route I could. So I tried the simplest algorithm possible. Starting from a specific airport, I always kept flying to the nearest airport I hadn't visited yet until I had covered all of them. And I repeated this for all possible starting airports. As you may have noticed, almost half of the time, the final airport is the same. 52% of the time, to be precise. This is St. Helena Airport, one of the most remote airports in the world. And that makes sense. It's almost never the closest airport at any point in the loop, which usually leaves it to be visited last. Ironically, if we look at the histogram of the total distance covered, the shortest route is the one that starts from St. Helena Airport. And this is the full route, ending at Sri Lankan International Airport near the Himalayas, and covering that many kilometers. However, I'm still not satisfied. As you can see, my simple algorithm is far from being optimal. Sometimes nearby airports got skipped, not because they were far, but simply because they weren't the closest at that moment. That means that I have to backtrack later on to visit them, which creates some unnecessary long legs. And so I tried something better. I used an algorithm from an open source library developed by Google, designed specifically for problems like this. It might still not find the perfect solution, remember we are dealing with P versus NP, but it gets much closer and much faster. And indeed, after running it around 100 times, I got a much better solution. This route starts at Hahn Airport in Germany, and ends at Frankfurt Airport, also in Germany. And the entire route is 9% shorter than my best attempt, and almost 10 times the circumference of the year. Of course, the real question is, how long would it actually take to fly this route? To keep the answer as realistic as possible, I added a fixed time for takeoff and landing, used a lower cruising speed for shorter flights, and included an one hour layover between each flight. And by doing that, we find that flying to every international airport in the fastest way possible would take 111 days, 0 hours and 5 minutes. Of course, changing the layover time drastically affects the total. If we reduce it to just half an hour, the full trip drops to almost 80 days. Turns out, Jules Verne was right after all, and it's only 48 days if we remove layovers entirely, just touch and go. You can choose the answer that you prefer. But we are not done yet. What if we get crazy? What if we include all airports? Domestic, military, private, abandoned, airfields, heliports, everything. In that case, we have 83,000 airports to deal with and even the optimized algorithm I used before cannot handle that many. So I went back to my simple go to the nearest airport algorithm, picked a random airport to start with, and after a while I got a solution. I just wanted a solution in this case. I wasn't even trying to optimize it, at least to get an idea of the scale we are dealing with. And this is the full route. We start at the closed Fauna Airport near Houston 
and after covering a total distance of about 55 times around the Earth, we finish at Mornington Island Airport in Queensland, Australia. This time, assuming a one hour layover between flights, the whole trip would last 10 years. 303 days and 10 hours. Actually, because we have to do 83,000 flights, it's the layover time that makes it that long. If we reduce it to just 30 minutes, the total drops to 5 years, 106 days and 7 hours. And if we assume zero layover time, if you could somehow fly to every single airport on Earth non-stop, it would only take you 202 days. But please don't try this at home or in the air, I guess. But if you want to see how the more realistic route through all international airports might look, I have prepared this animation that shows the entire trip. Enjoy it, subscribe for more content like this one and see you, some of you in Frankfurt where this route will end and the rest of you next time. Bye.
Uf. 